Hey, what's up? I'm Tony Hawk, and uh, I have display at the San Diego Hall of Champions, and you should really go there because that place is amazing, and it's a really a, a nice tribute to San Diego athletes in general. Having grown up in San Diego really allowed me to pursue a career in skateboarding because, um, for one, the weather is always nice year-round, so you can be outdoors mm -hmm. you know, through, throughout the year, and uh, I got very lucky in that one of the last remaining skate parks ever to stay open was Del Mar Skate Ranch in San Diego. Um, so that, I mean, that's where I honed on, you know, that's, that's really where I, I made a career of, of learning tricks and getting better and, and being able to go on to other, um, go on to other events and things and do well. I mean, that, that was, that's why. And if I didn't have that facility, if I had lived in another city, I mean, almost any other city didn't have a facility, right. um, I wouldn't have been able to pursue it. First contest I entered, I was about 10 years old at Oasis Skate Park, which was in San Diego. Okay. And um, I had no idea what I was doing. I just uh, I, I just filled out an entry form and then they had a thing. Contests were, were sort of a, a constantly evolving event. And so the way that they were ran was always different. Yeah. And the one that I went to, I had to actually write down my routine on this piece of paper. What you were gonna do? What I was going to do. And I thought, well, <laughs> what if I, like, what if I mess up and I wanna do yeah. something else? or Kind of against the nature of skateboarding. Yeah, like that's right? it. You're just locked into this routine. It's, like it's not a diving yeah. you know, program with a degree of difficulty. No. And so I, I, I think in my head, like I was trying to follow the routine I wrote down, but after a while, I just sort of freestyled it, and uh, yeah. I don't even remember what I got. I don't. I don't think I did very well. Well, I have a, I have a foundation for public skate parks in low-income areas, and it all. I started the foundation because I found myself in a position to. Well, to be to have a voice and to create change, and, and so I decided I really wanted to help to provide facilities to kids that really that love skating but don't have anywhere to do it, and don't have mm -hmm. any support otherwise, probably for doing any physical activities. Um, and the reason that I started it is because I grew up near one of the last remaining skate parks in the U.S. and and it really it was my community, it was my place, it was my salvation. Right. Um, and I probably could have gotten in a lot more trouble if I didn't have it, and so I feel like. If I have, um, if 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 I have influence in some way, that would be the best way to have it. Uh, and so, to date, we've helped to build over almost 500 skate parks. And so the Hall of Champions does a lot of things with. Uh, we have a lot of the same outreach in terms of reaching at needs youth, and we do a lot of leadership programs. And I know a lot of what you're doing through the foundation equates to leadership. But talk to us a little bit about how to be a good leader, you know, and kind of the things about how, how to change minds and do what your foundation has done. Um, well, I think uh, the key to being a good leader is just to, to lead by example and, and really walk the walk. Don't just say this is what we want to do, but try to implement other people doing it. You know, you have to prove that, that you're capable of it as well. And and, uh, and people get inspired by that, that, that you will actually uh, do the work um, and, and you know, you can you can still lead, but but you can also be right there in the mix and not just delegating what's going on. Right. Um, but I think the fact that that anyone is successful in in a in a field that wasn't proven before or that maybe no one took seriously before, I think that that's a huge inspiration to people because they feel like, wow, I can actually follow my dreams and I can maybe make something of it and and if nothing else the message that i give to kids when i when i go talk to them is that you have to do what you love and it doesn't matter if you're not the most financially successful at it you're going to love what you do for a living and not many people can say that these days they think they just have to be stuck in a you know in this in this one job because that's the only place they fit um yeah. but you have to follow your passion and, and the rest will just fall into place the Hall of Champions, I think, is a really, it, it's, it's a great, I mean, for lack of a better word, it's a great museum of, uh, of San Diego athletes and, and those who have, have risen to, to success. And, um, and I like that it's now encompassing all types of sports, including action sports and skateboarding. Um, and uh, I, when I, the first time I ever went there, I mean, I was honored to be included in, in an exhibit, but I had no idea the the number of athletes and the, and the level of talent that came from San Diego. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it makes sense, obviously. You know, it's 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 a major town on the West Coast, but uh, you, you don't realize the the names you instantly recognize.